Apparently Kanye is doing something else crazy. So we're gonna see what Jamar got to say on the Oh, on the I know what this is about. Kanye what is this West about? Bro? The laugh again. Who is known to freely speak his mind no matter what anyone thinks or how many people might disagree with his opinions. The destruction right? of the spirit of the people of Southern Louisiana oh. and Mississippi may not be the most tragic loss. <laughs> George, of all. Bush, George Bush doesn't <laughs> care about black people. Out of left field, Kanye. Out of left field, oh, bro. Was, uh, 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 That's why you take a few steps back to go. You ain't got the answers, man. It was a Jewish doctor. <laughs> you said the album was coming out on Saturday. It didn't come out. What happened? I didn't finish it. He has long been known for I mean, being he was someone real. who relishes in stirring the pot and creating controversy. Right. And for a long time, it seemed like no matter what he did or said, it did not matter because he was winning on such a massive scale. Everybody wants to know what I would do. This was player. This was player. Not gonna lie. I guess we'll never know. That was play as hell. Many consider him to be one of the most innovative artists of all time, and he has fearlessly pushed the envelope and shaped the sounds of several generations of music with his keen ability what did to he create. Do? And that's not to even mention his billionaire status that he achieved mostly through his clothing creations, and of course the Yeezy brands in general with the shoes. Because even in the midst of all the smoke and mirrors, Kanye always showed himself to be a visionary and an amazing businessman who simply would not take no for an answer. But over the last couple of years, it's growing more and more uh -huh, apparent uh -huh. that Kanye seems to have overextended his welcome, both in the entertainment and major business industry. He has gone through a lot personally with his divorce from Kim Kardashian. Obviously, he had the whole... And of all the niggas who have married Kim Kardashian, right? that nigga loved her. <laughs> that, that nigga Kanye... Hey, chat, let's be honest. One's in the chat if you would have actually voted for Kanye. But continue. Continue. If you would have actually did it, but anyway, like yeah, he, he, he loved her. For he real. loved her for real. He loved her so much he got a clone. Cause his yeah. current wife looked just like her, bro. Yeah. His current wife looked just like her. See, this is showing how many crazy people there are on YouTube. Y'all can't see this because we don't have the channel, the YouTube channel on the screen. But this shows I mean, it's a lot of crazy people in here talking about some. They would actually vote for Kanye for president. Insane. Debacle with the deed is cutting him off due to his Twitter rants. He was in massive debt. They froze his bank account. He was coming out every other week saying some outlandish stuff. Oh. And recently, it's really felt like I'm surprised he ain't say the Hitler thing. The first time in history that Kanye is losing impact from literally every standpoint that matters to him, whether that be in business or in music or merely his public perception. We already own it, Z, bro. Even mention his very fast marriage to Bianca Sensori, who he constantly has parading around with no clothes on. Yeah, she's Which always. Is, naked. Yeah, she's, she's always, always. She's always naked. It's, she's it's, always it's, naked. The things be thinking, though. He married her fast as hell. If had, bruh. Like, I'm talking about completely see-through. Like, it looks like they wrapped her naked body up with some saran wrap. Like, recently I saw this video where Kanye is out at dinner with a ton of people. And his girl is sitting there just straight up topless. And everyone is sitting around acting like, she like it's completely no, normal. No. Oh, like, no. She was actually. Yeah, it was He nothing. just cropped it. <laughs> yeah, it oh, was, wow. There was nothing there, fool. Wow. I thought it was no shirt, no shoes, no service. Wow, yeah. it's Kanye. Hey, though, dude, so they... with the shades in the corner, you're not fooling anyone. We know it's a full 69 in that room, and you will make an eye contact with those biddies. Now, recently, Kanye released his newest album, Vultures 2, and it was right. met with a lot of criticism with a okay. lot of Kanye's lifelong fans wondering what the hell was going on. Because okay. while Kanye might have been wild in doing whatever he wanted, one thing that always stayed consistent was that was he was going to make some good sounding music for his fans. And it really did feel like that was something that was never going to change. I mean, don't get me wrong, he wasn't making Graduation or even The Life of Pablo, but he was still capable was of releasing for the a good project. Was, yeah. well, Amongst many enough. criticisms for this album, people mainly complained about the lack of straight up sound quality on this record. Ye was in the studio working on the album and accidentally hit submit. <laughs> this sounds like something they would release a year after his death. Uh, Everything new is either low quality, AI, or songs heard years ago. Garbage mixing, uh, lazy verses, unfinished songs, Ye can do way better. My goat is washed. Uh, now I tried to get through this whole project last <laughs> night, and it's a very rough listen. 
In fact, it's so poorly made that it makes Little Pump's Harvard dropout look like a masterpiece. And I know Ew, Kanye likes damn. to do the thing where he basically starts putting out patch notes on his music, but no amount of remixing or adding or subtracting from these songs is going to make this a listenable experience, much less an enjoyable one. Now, Chad, this is that bad? Even the biggest Kanye stands in shambles. It's kind of like when the Patriots. How's Davis feeling? Davis, I'm Davis. How you feeling? Yeah, bro. We, we, <laughs> is, the, is the album we that need, bad, bro? We need Davis to, to talk yeah, about it, bro. Yeah, Davis yeah. is... He gonna die behind you. Yeah. God damn, Boss bro. Boss Tom Brady and the fans didn't know what to do with themselves because they were so used to being the perennial favorite for damn near two damn. decades. Yep. But and now, now this gone. alleged whistleblower has come forward. Six out of ten. And he might damn. shed some light on Kanye's very strange behavior over the... Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. You're about to... What, man? man. Oh, we getting into the act what he did. Now, okay, yeah, okay. It, it, All right, Chad. Here comes the the actual situation the of the video. Couple of years. <laughs> Milo Yiannopoulos is the man who posted this information about Kanye. He is a very controversial political figure who I will say has uh -oh. historically not been the most trustworthy source. Uh -oh. And he's definitely said some really strange shit in the past. Despite all of that, when Kanye was going through that arc where he wanted to run for president and was hanging out with the likes of Nick Fuentes and all that other weird shit that he was doing, well during uh -huh. that time Milo was apparently working for Kanye on this potential political campaign. And though that movement seems to have now lost all momentum, Kanye had hired Milo once again to be the chief of staff at Yeezy Apparel in April of this year. Only for him to step down a month later mm. over a disagreement with the direction of the company where Kanye now wanted to make adult films. Regardless of all of that, Milo would take- Whoa! 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 I like the vision as an unknown person, but as Kanye West, as I don't Kanye like the vision West? at all. Whoa! As Kanye West? Rhea Grimmie, appreciate the dono, even though I know it's absolutely insane. Pokedex entry, Mikey the fossil Pokemon. There's only been one true Mikey discovered. All sightings in the past have just been the single Mikey. Okay. Type all right. It. Anyway, but... Yeah, no, nah, that's... That's... I insane. mean, he... Bro, he constantly moving with what's pushing forward. Right now, I the, mean cor the corn, oh, the corn industry. If we but be like honest, a production company though, is yeah. that even? Is that that's not a bad idea? Either. It's like, not, bro. It's but it's like it's like, but how like, much can you do? It should be and under, then it, it should and be then undercover. Though. Yeah, it should yeah, be under an umbrella company. Yeah, we don't yeah, know what it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause Kanye gonna be in there. Yeah, fuck her hard. Yeah. Whoa. Paint whoa. her face. Yeah, okay. Paint her face right. <laughs> on the inside. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm 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 going next. Let me show you how to do it. Kim used to do it like, <laughs> like come oh, on, bro. Take to Twitter to blow his alleged whistle on what's been going on with Kanye. There is a reason Ye, formerly known as Kanye West, is no longer capable of successfully releasing music oh, whoa, or clothing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. In fact, there are several reasons, but the most serious and the most recent is his whoa, dentist, whoa. Thomas Connolly. Connolly got Ye. That fucking most haircut. serious Whoa. and the most recent is his dentist. It looked like bad waves, but his his what hair is, is like laying down in a weird. It's cut like a black person's hair, but it's white yeah, person, person yeah. white people hair texture. It looked like a GTA no, hair. Nigga, nigga, no, oh, that's tattoos. Oh. That's tattoos. <sighs> okay. Miss right. Connolly. Connolly got Ye hooked on nitrous, laughing gas. It is my belief that Connolly sought Whoa. to diminish Ye's mental faculties Whoa. so that Connolly and his business associates could extract millions of dollars Whoa. from him. Earlier this year, I right, uncovered Scotty, the fraud peace. and intervened. Ye hooked on nitrous, blew up our relationship on purpose by proposing something that he knew I'd have to resign over because I had told him so. The resurrection Whoa. of his longtime idle fantasy of making corn. Thomas Connolly is a dangerous predator who targets African-American why is this Kanye's dentist? Come on, bro. I, like, we were taught not to judge a book by its cover, but why is this Kanye West dentist? This is a, this is a very interesting. This is a, bro. this is too interesting of a character for Kanye West to be choosing you as your, as his dentist. Yeah, no, nah, that's um. Nitrous. What if dentist is like cold word for drug? Though? Yeah, I should have. He got him on the galaxy gas, bro. Bro, that's crazy. He's real life. <laughs> Hey, he got him on expensive stuff though. Wow, oh, bro. 
celebrities into whose mouth he puts fake diamonds. Oh. As I suspect oh. he did to Lil Yachty. He must be stopped. I filed a complaint with the California Dental Board last week to that end. Milo would also share this video where he says that Kanye oh, is more of a laughing a gas. Ryan one of those type. Yeah, I'm on a nitrous. And then he would later... <laughs> Oh, we, 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 we can't, we can't, we can't, on, keep you, we, we can't keep defending, defending you, man. We can't keep defending you. We're not even defending you. We are. I'm real with you, bro. It's Kanye. I'm on the doctor. <laughs> he said it. Come on. I'm high as hell, y'all. Tyler, what up, man? God, Come on, bro. What's up, Tyler? Which is a written statement that is signed under oath to verify that the information in the document is true. Can't write and he worse than mine. Again, he calls out the dentist Thomas Connolly, accusing him of the unlawful supply of enormous up, quantities man? of nitrous gas to the wealthy, famous. Enormous. <laughs> enormous. <laughs> enormous that for boy, recreational that boy, use. That boy Yay be in there. Ah da 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 da. The crazy part. We was gonna get some laughing gas. We That's was, insane, bro. bro. That's <laughs> insane. We was gonna be like, I hate that. That's that was a video idea, bro. That's insane. Nitrous for West for real. Recreational use. The physical transportation of four surgical sized canisters by Connolly himself into the patient's home on just one afternoon, charging more than $50,000 per month for this service, continuing to supply the gas long after the emergence of distressing symptoms that led to widespread comments and concern, instruction to the patient Dude. in the operation of nitrous gas canisters left Dude. by Connolly at the patient's home, knowingly encouraging their use in the absence of a qualified anesthetist oh, or medical professional by a person with a history of mental illness and addiction. Yeah, GG's, man. I can hear the news story now. Breaking news for the residents of Kanye West. For... <laughs> laughing gas. <I'm> laughing <laughs> gas. Because <laughs> he didn't use it right. That's insane. Bro. That's insane, huh? That's it. Because he was left unattended. Like, the on, abandonment bro. of said patient to the self-destructive consequences of said dependence, showing indifference, or worse, to the prospect of I permanent damage in the heavy, brain bro. and in the body by Connolly's negligence, at best, and malice with the intent to defraud, at worst. Upon information and belief, the wrongful and fraudulent extraction of millions of dollars by Connolly and his business associates from a patient he knew to be confused, dependent, weakened, and in an addicted state. Testimony from Connolly's business partner that he has defrauded dozens of his athletes and celebrity client base by charging them for natural stone diamonds orthodontics, but in Jeez. reality using cheap lab grown diamonds for as much as a 15,000% in price difference. 15,000% hike up? Bro, what is that mathematically? Because they already getting charged. It's already an arm and a leg. Bro, it's already an arm and a leg. What is that, 150x? I don't, I don't. Is that 150x? No, because wouldn't that just be 150 times? No. Whoa. Is that 150x, chat? Whoa. Bro. 15,000% markup, nigga? Yeah, let's look up 15,000% look up times, like, one. Yeah. That's how, you, that's, how, that's how you find out what it is. What did you just ask me to look up here? Do 15,000% times one. It's not going to be. If you do, because 15,000 times one? It's not. I'm telling you. Do 0. 0.115 times one. It should give you something different, shouldn't it? Wait, 0. 0.115? If you do. Yeah, one. No, one point. Damn, what is the decimal? <laughs> do you just move the decimal two spots, right? <laughs> yeah, it is 150x. Okay. No. I'm in this mess. I'm like, hello, bro. How the fuck? I'm trying to remember how to undo uh, fucking percentages. I'm like, wait, we got to do fractions. Is it fractions? I was like, I was like, I was like it's Saturn all over again. It's Jupiter and Saturn. No! I started freaking out. I started freaking out, bro. I started freaking out. I was like, wait. <laughs> The Saturn Jupiter moment has not died yet. Bro, bro. I saw that in a panic attack, bro. <laughs> Holy hell. Holy hell, okay, dude. Back to it. Back to oh, it. Jesus Christ. So it is 150. Okay. Dude, I started having a panic attack. 
conference. <laughs> Testimony from Connolly's business partner that he owes a debt of more than $2 million to the Mexican drug cartel and that this cartel owns his surgical practice in Beverly Hills and uses it to launder money. Under I get it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. On them two million. I get it. Kanye, you're, I would do it too. But if he didn't exploit it, Kanye, multi million dollars. I mean, right? you should be done by now, but I get it. Bro. I don't think I don't think they let you pay out. They, huh? I don't think they let you pay out. Oh, you're done. How? Why they don't let you pay out? What it don't. Mean? It don't make. Cause think about it, bro. Think about it. Right. Oh, oh, what if? What if he paid out? What if he got out of debt, but he's just greedy? That could be, but yeah, I think it'll be. I think it's. I think it's <laughs> two, two million to the card. Because look, this is how I think. Because they be like, nigga, you paid your way out, but we still own your business. You know who we yeah. are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got connects to us. Ah, yeah, he in too deep, bro. Like, I feel like one, it's like once it's like Hotel California. Once you in here, you can't never leave, twin. Even if you pay your way out, you for you forever here. Damn. Glass Steen, appreciate the dono. Hope you're doing great. Road to Miller Journey from beginning. Can't wait to see you hit those seven digits. Bless you too, man. Thank w you, gang. Man, w, man. Go ahead. Stand that this it guy Thomas Connolly is known what? for it being get, a celebrity oh, dentist who has apparently done work for people like Shaq, Little Yachty, Justin Jefferson, the Baby, and many other celebrities. Player. If I had to credit, you know, who are really the founders oh, those are of my tattoos. business. <gasps> oh, nigga, 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 nigga. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, hold on, shut up. We ain't mean no harm, twin. We ain't mean no harm. We ain't mean no harm. We ain't mean no harm. We're reactors, internet. We, we're nobody. Hey, man, that, what, your business dealings is your business dealings. Yo, that's dealings, your brother. business dealings. Goku that's is that. awesome. Kanye, get off the gas, bro. Bro, I ain't. We're here for Kanye. We talking about Kanye. Oh, yeah, we talking about Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the brains are posted? Bart, damn, <laughs> Bart. Alone. I mean, they did. He did say they own his business, but they that's why they own his. But business. you gotta think about it, bro. But to that's, name it, that is. But that's what I'm saying. That that's suspicion. Yeah. It, we suppose because yeah. ain't no business that's owned by him gonna be ran openly in the U.S. Yeah, true, true. That's what I'm saying. To name it, that is insane. Is nutty, bro. That's nutty. Unless that's a last name or something. No, his name ain't Bartell. He's alone and Odell Beckham Jr. And that's why they're partners. Yep. This guy's basically putting diamonds and other fancy things in people's mouths. Yeah, I know that website looking one good. Of the other big accusations here is that he has taken lab grown diamonds, presenting them as real to his clients, and then charging them as if they were naturally grown. For those of you that don't know, lab grown diamonds are significantly cheaper than ones that grow on Earth, but with I mean, the human eye, they are nearly indistinguishable. Yeah, you can't tell and the can difference. No. As long as they real. Hey, look, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna be real with real. you. you know I'm, I'm gonna be real with you, bro. It was a good run. It's crazy. <laughs> Why y'all switch up? So, what you? Y'all switch up on us. Y'all switch up on us. <laughs> While we, we switch up, the <laughs> good and nothing. The nothing. <laughs> the nothing. Look, bro. I'm gonna be real about lab grown diamonds, though. I, when I saw Jimmy Neutron make them uh, diamonds in his house and that microwave, I've been wanting to do that ever since. <laughs> So lab grown, he gave it to his mama. So lab grown diamonds is cool, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I fuck with boys tonight over here, baby. Oh god, so, you know, lab diamonds even better. Lab grown even better, bro. You oh, feel shit, me? This dude looks absolutely insane. Like I'm not trusting <laughs> anyone who has their hairline tattooed on. I, he wouldn't be my dentist, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Bro. started a relationship with this guy doing his teeth. He started giving him access to the laughing gas nitrous and basically dude. got him addicted to the point where Kanye would do anything to keep him in house. I ain't gonna lie, this nigga looks scary. He is. Like, like this nigga look scary, like he'll break in our house, break our bones. Now say, I'll take back the reaction video. <laughs> we ain't been okay, bro. Uh, at least we ain't Jamari video, you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> Go for the fans of the man. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> supply of the laughing gas, no matter what the cost. And Milo claims that this guy, without any real experience in business, wanted to restructure the entire Yeezy company himself. With no experience huh? in either music what? or fashion, and without examining a single document or interviewing a he single do member like a of staff, Connolly proposed widespread and disruptive changes to Yeezy's structure and operations, without even knowing what they were. 
and offered himself as the ideal candidate to lead the business and revify the company's Whoa. fortunes. Although he knew nothing about the business and supplied no business plan or assessment of the company's financials because he didn't know them. Connolly nonetheless insisted that he could not accept any less than $2.4 million a year in compensation. In his Chat, y'all know how much money that is, bro? Chat, do y'all know how much money that is? I don't think we know. Chat, that's so Even with money. inflation, bro, that's crazy. Bro, I don't think y'all understand Chat, that. Chat, I just, just want to touch, touch that amount of money just a little bit. Just a little bit, just bro. Just a little bit, bro. What I got to do this? Never mind. His plan here. Go sell Kanye. I got to sell it, bro. Go sell Kanye. He's some laughing gas. <laughs> Hey, Chad, hey, Chad, what? Us, me and y'all, we gonna be over here watching this nigga Mikey go down. <laughs> go ahead, Mikey, you sound like nigga life again. I had to get my licenses first. <laughs> he allegedly detailed that his primary goals were to build the Drome, which was supposed to be some sort of city in the Middle East. Oh my God. Nigga, oh, what? what? God damn! Bro, this nigga's a super villain. This nigga's a super villain. Super freaking villain, bro. Jeez! You messaged me? Who messaged you? Who? Who said, um, Aaron phone? Oh, His next God. goal was allegedly to build the personal use N202 system and then to build some sort of Yeezy, Yeezy car. car. I mean, if that is all true, that is just an absolute garbage <laughs> plan Send stuff like that after the videos. I did find this interview from last year where he sounds very intrigued by the idea of the personal use anesthesia. I think this, a segue between the two worlds would be the local anesthesia route. There's no reason why tattoo artists aren't getting local anesthetic. By April, employees at all levels of the company were worrying about Ye's dependence on the gas and speaking openly about it. Ye talked about it nonstop in meetings. He seemed to be in and out of the inhaler mask on a near constant basis, oh, no. even posting a video message <laughs> oh, to MMA no. fighter Ryan Garcia on the subject. A division head with years of experience oh, working goodness, closely bro. with Ye confided to me that it was like speaking to an entirely different person. It was around that time that one of the junior staff confessed Is this the that August he controversy, man? hauling four large surgical tanks of nitrous oxide into Bianca Sensori's apartment, and that something had told him to take a couple of photographs. A long-standing vendor told me, in apparent amazement, how casually Connolly talked about putting Ye under, understanding him to mean full anesthesia for no apparent medical purpose, as though it were a normal part of his everyday life. A bill was received and paid for over $61,000 by Yeezy solely for anesthesia uh, and nitrous gas. Oh. Some sort of inside source also informed him that Connolly continues oh. to collect fees of this size from Kanye, Whoa. as well as flights and hotels and destinations. Oh, dude, Whoa. dude, 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 Whoa. dude. I ain't gonna lie, chat, the bigger, like, we get close to being like, Big bro, I'm terrified. I'm terrified of like, oh. I'm terrified of these niggas. Chat, these niggas are weird, bro. These niggas are weird. Hey Kanye, if you need a friend, I charge you twenty thousand dollars an hour. Yeah, facts, bro. I'll be your uh twenty thousand an hour, Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> six, ah, right, go six hour work days. Come on, man. We can we can do everything. We can do. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, Kanye. Make a YouTube channel, nigga. Uh, what you doing, bro? Bro, why the fuck? Let, I'm bro, gonna all jokes Call that bitch off the gas, bro. Come on. Bro. <laughs> gas up. Gas, gas up. Gas. Come on, yeah. man. Yeah, make a YouTube you channel, doing, nigga. Man. Jesus Christ. Wait, it, it, it all jokes aside, bro. Dude, would that not be musty TV? Bro, would that make a be? YouTube channel. <laughs> Kanye. What we doing, bro? Matter of fact, I'm gonna comment on your YouTube from our YouTube, nigga. You gonna see this? <laughs> on YouTube, nigga. And such as Paris and Florence, and basically pro. He's trying to be like his idol. Oh, off the gas! Oh, he's using the long use of this stuff can do some serious damage to well, not only your mind gas, but also but... your body. I was told over the telephone a by an easy employee gas. who wished to remain anonymous that. The Mikey going to hell. I need what? to explain this to y'all. Mikey is going to burn in hell. They directly oh, witnessed DA self-administering during the nitrous gas provided by Connolly. Most disturbingly of all, I learned that Connolly had moved into the apartment building Ye resided at during this period at Ye's expense. Given Connolly's familiarity with rap and hip-hop music stars, 
many of whom have been clients in the past, there can be no doubt that he was aware of Ye's psychological vulnerabilities. Milo would also go on to share a group message that was allegedly between him, Kanye, and this dentist. The, where the dentist everything. allegedly speaks about wanting to build this personal nitrous machine. This needs Yo, to be a long-term goal. Bro. Get recreational nitrous come legalized. On, to which Milo posed these questions and concerns. On, and Kanye says allegedly, can I have nitrous today? Tom, oh. you said you'd bring them by today. Checking in. Kanye's new oh. chief of staff would actually respond to these claims, sort of saying that Kanye is the healthiest and happiest he's been in a long time after taking a break from social media, and that the toxic people who used and abused him are now out of the picture. Milo also claims that when he was put in charge that he noticed that Kanye's company was burning money at a massive rate, and that yeah. most of it was going towards nothing productive. And he really- Kanye is turning into the Joker with the gas addiction. Changed my mind. More like, more like Bane. <laughs> it does make it seem like or scarecrow scarecrow actually this is not fair guys. several people here would take in kanye for say that i don't like him we know it dude why like, she got in a, why she still in an apartment okay i mean what kind of apartment we talking probably like one of them two-story joints them luxury joints them joints are why awesome. he looks so swole because that's not kanye <laughs> that's kendrick perkins <laughs> <laughs> for a free ride, oh, reaching off his wealth and taking advantage of his trust and his bad mental health. Even claiming that someone named Paul Johnson had seized assets from Kanye, including Grammys, birth certificates uh -huh. of his children, Whoa. and apparently even his mother's death certificate. I mean, Whoa. obviously, guys, it's impossible to know how many Whoa. of these claims can actually be substantiated. Bro, start a YouTube channel, bro. Oh, I, I just, I, life of what? I just want to life of yay, bro. Bro, life of yay, bro. We need to see yay kosis. Yeah, type. That's shit. what you are, yay kosis. Start a kick or something. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Live stream this shit, bro. Substantiated. <laughs> And this guy Milo is not known for being the most trustworthy source, but oh, a lot damn. of what he says here, at least to me, looks like it could possibly be legit. Especially given some of the interviews I've watched with this guy Tom Connolly, and how anxious he seems to further evolve the personal use of anesthesia. That nigga's yeah, nah. a murderer, bro. That nigga's a murderer. Hey, Tom. Tom Connolly. I think that's what you said his name was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Bartell? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we don't want no smoke with you, twin. Bro. Mm -hmm. Uh, scroll down, scroll down. You know what I'm saying? Glad you got your business off the ground. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Scroll down, scroll down. Okay, Jamari bigger than us. Yeah, yeah. go for Jamari. Yeah. Go for Jamari. <laughs> Sorry, Tansom, and man. two o two. I guess I'm just saying I wouldn't be surprised if there was some truth to these statements. Obviously, if this was a legit affidavit, he could be tried for perjury, and that would I mean, be yeah. a federal offense if he is lying. So he's really kind of putting his life on the line here. And that's not to even mention the Mexican cartel, which can obviously be extremely powerful. But I want to know what you guys think about all this. Oh, yeah, down he below. put his. I think it would. He put himself on the line. And I don't think anybody would do that just to do just that. Just to. Yeah, nah, nah yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I ain't gonna speak no more on the terms, bro. Hey, this stream gonna be deleted. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, man, Kanye, you know what I'm saying? Get start the channel, bro. Kanye. Come on, bro. Please. Come on, bro. Hire some people, you know, to, like, record your life that you kind of trust. I know you don't yeah. trust nobody yeah. but the gas, man. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, just, just have some people have your back. All right.